Hi, welcome back to Couples Therapy Bites. Where we serve up bite-sized pieces of psychological education to make your relationship even, even better. better. I'm Steven. I'm Erin. And today is Tuesday's Top 3. And we're talking about a guy named Daniel Hughes. And he posits that curiosity is a key trait that every individual needs to have a healthy interpersonal relationship. And we agree. We think that curiosity is going to help any and all fights you and your partner might have. That's right. Because let's face it, when you get in an argument, oftentimes you're feeling defensive and guarded. You feel attacked. Um, and that causes you oftentimes just to push back and forth at each other. But curiosity, curiosity is an invitational feel. It, it invites someone to be open and flexible. And so we want to offer you three key curious phrases that you can use during, during an argument to help diffuse that argument. Number three, can you say more about that? So let's set the scene. You and your partner, you're fighting. Things are getting ugly. And then your partner says, I don't think you ever cared about <laughs> me anyway. Whoa, that seems intense. And you want to push back. You want to fire back. You want to get defensive, but don't. Instead, use this simple, curious phrase. Can you say more about that? It's like sort of like a pause button on the fight. It gives the opportunity for people to have a moment to reflect. Can you say more about that? I don't know. Can I really? If your partner I'm interested in what you have to say. Yes, exactly. So yeah. it, it invites more people, or both people rather, to think about what is actually happening rather than continue to escalate. Yeah, it stops the defensiveness. So that's number three. Number two, can you help me understand? Same thing. It's a it's a pause button. It, it takes you out of the fight, out of all the emotions, and it, it just it takes it from going south into more escalating fight and, and it helps articulate what it is you're trying to say. Right, right. Um, so uh, can you say more about that? Can you help me understand? Number And the number one. Number one way. This seems really important to you. I feel like I'm not getting it. Can you help me understand? What am I missing? What am I missing? Yeah, and again, hopefully you get the, the point by now. And they're, they're not very different phrases. They're just different ways of saying the same thing. Um, and again, it's just inviting your partner. And yourself. A moment. To be open to each other. <sighs> yes. Right. You're, you're taking a breath. You're, you're stopping the guardedness and the defensiveness. And that's what curiosity can do for you in an argument. And so this week, you're going to fight. We'll probably fight today. And so what we need to remember is that there are these three key curious phrases that we can use that will stop the defensiveness, stop the threat, and diffuse that argument. They are, can you say more about that? Can you help me understand? I can see that this is really important to you. I want to understand what am I missing? Try it out. Let us know how it goes. Please let us know how it goes. Comment. Because <laughs> we think these are good ideas. We want to know if you think they're good ideas too. So and comment see below. see how they work. Yeah. Uh, and please subscribe to the, to the station or and the channel. And uh, We'll see you tomorrow. Yep.